Ladies and gentlemen, dear viewer, we are in this very, very warm and hot place. This is a greenhouse, all right? Here are the Molo River Roses Limited here in Nakuru County, okay? So, this is the BASF Follow a Farmer East Africa. Now, talking about BASF, we have a guest who is a representative of BSF. He's going to tell us his name and his job and how he supports this farm. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Patrick Gugge. I'm the business manager for professional and specialty solutions in East Africa here at BSF. And uh, we are very glad to be here at uh, Moro Roses. Uh, this is a farm we've had a close work with uh, for, for a long time. We've provided them with solutions. And uh, just to name a few, uh, we have a wide range of uh, uh, crop protection products for control of a myriad of diseases and pests. Uh, for instance, um, our blockbuster Dagonis, which we launched uh, two years ago, uh, has had a very good impact in this farm uh, in control of powdery mildew. And therefore, for us, that's just one case in point. We usually do this um, uh, service with our partners uh, as a continuous journey. Uh, beyond the products, we also have uh, workshops where we uh, meet and uh, discuss about the uh, challenges which farmers are facing and we offer solutions. Uh, so I mentioned about uh, Dagonis, that is one. We also have another very nice solution for control of downy mildew, okay. uh, which is uh, called Orvego. And this has been good uh, over the years. It's, um, it's, it's, it's a product which is, uh, uh, has a very good profile and uh, used world over. And here in Kenya, we are very proud to bring it to the farmers because it's increasing production uh, when used uh, by our, our, our growers. Uh, and just talking about the products, uh, for the products to come to the market, we do a lot of uh, work in terms of uh, running trials uh, to ensure that the product which comes to the use, uh, I mean to be used by the farmer, uh, has gone through all the uh, necessary checks to ensure that it fits in our condition and it works as specified on the label. And therefore, we've had close uh, partnership with the Pest Control Product Board uh, in terms of uh, doing um, trials to ensure that whatever we provide to the farmers is top quality. Okay, so basically that's uh, in a nutshell uh, uh, what we're offering the farmers. The nutshell is big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So you've spoken because you've, you've spoken about the regulatory body. You've spoken about how you support how you support farmers. You've spoken about the tests because you see, you know, uh, BASF is known for superior uh, products yes. uh, uh, in terms in the field of integrated pest management and disease control yeah. uh, for crops. So let's let's go deeper a little bit into that. Mm -hmm. Speaking specifically for the ornamental, you know, business. Uh, in terms of solutions, uh, we provide as BSF. It's a long journey. It starts with the research from our company in um, in Germany and across all the other research sites we have uh, across the world. And it's usually a journey which takes about 10 years for a molecule to be certified that it is it qualifies to be used as a crop protection product. So uh, once that now has been done, now we, we, we get now the confidence to sell the product in the countries. And once now it has been uh, um, uh, discovered, that's the terminology we use, uh, we come and uh, give the product to the growers as a solution. Because we don't sell products, we sell solutions. Because they have big challenges, like I said. Yeah. And for us, it's basically to be able to fill the gaps and uh, give uh, the solutions. So uh, that's uh, where we come now to the Pest Control Products Board, like I had said. And once now the Pest Control board, uh, Products Board uh, are certified that the product uh, is working, uh, the specs are good, what we claim is actually what is happening in terms of performance on the crop, we bring to the farmer. We launch the product. Then after that, now we start the work of working together with the farmer explaining to them how this product should be used and that's why we have from time to time workshops uh, we have farm visits where we visit and uh, uh, we, we, we get to answer questions uh, also even explaining uh, how farmers uh, are able to get the best uh, out of this product all right um in every farming operation the yes. biggest resource is the ma is the manpower yes. and uh, there have been claims and counter claims about how uh, concerning the safety of the people who work in the farms. Yes. I want you to assure the people who work in the farms that the products from BSF are safe, 
and safe to use uh, and, and how uh, they can protect themselves, you know, when using these products. Yes. Please. Yeah, um, our products um, um, are, are safe to use and of, of course we put uh, a rider that when it's used according to the instructions of the label. When it is used according to the instructions on, on, the, on label. the label. Yes. Uh, but still uh, we go a, a step further and provide the products which have the best profile. Uh, you know, uh, when you talk of classification of products, there are those which are classified as class 1 red. Uh, those are the most toxic uh, in terms of um, uh, global classification according to World Health, Health Organization. We don't have any product in BSA which is class 1. So our products are, are relatively safe uh, when used according to uh, the label instruction and the farmer will get the best out of them. Uh, but then of course uh, farmers have to take charge by ensuring that they wear personal protect, uh, protective equipment. PPEs. PPEs. Yes. And uh, like uh, this farm in particular, they are very, very much uh, thorough on that. It's not even a, a topic of discussion. It's something, it's a way of life for them. Here in, Wolo, in Wolo River, uh, we normally do our spraying in very early in the morning, as early as uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. And uh, the spray team are, it involves all men. And uh, once they arrive at the changing room, they, we ensure they all wear their PPEs, the correct PPEs. Uh, the PPEs includes a uh, uh, cockles, it includes a uh, respirator, uh, it also includes an uh, impermeable spray suit and a uh, overall and kombut. Uh, we have also we have trained all the spray team who are who are applying these uh, chemicals on how to wear these uh, PPEs. Uh, when they arrive at the greenhouse, when before they start. The assistant team leader in the greenhouse make sure that the all curtains are being closed. The reentry, the, the reentry is being uh, is written at the door, and all doors are closed. And make sure also no non sprayer inside the greenhouse. Uh, once they spray, the, the, the assistant team leader is uh, who is in charge of the team. Uh, make sure that the the, the doors are closed and the reentry raffles are being followed based on the WHO class. So uh, when they use our products, they get the best because already they are protected themselves. The BASF launched uh, uh, an overall the other day. Yes. Uh, would you like to just describe or tell us why it is one of the best uh, products that farmers and farmhands can use uh, to protect themselves? Yeah, what the, is so special about that? Yeah, the, the, the overall, actually, you should have said the first ISO certified ah, overall. I stand correct. <laughs> yes. The first <laughs> ISO certified. So yes. that is the first thing. Yeah, that, that is the first ISO thing. ISO certified. Uh, overall, yes. yeah. Mm. We have it, and actually, it's even commercially available. And uh, it's good. Even in, uh, in, uh, in a farm like this, uh, like this, they can be used for general operations. Uh, but then now, when you come to application of uh, pest control products, uh, we use another overall, not that particular one. But in terms of uh, comfort, in terms of farm use, if people are having operations like maybe uh, in the park house or outside uh, driving machinery, um, it, it becomes very, very nice because it's very comfortable. But then now when you come to actual application of uh, uh, crop protection products, you need something which is waterproof, which this uh, ours doesn't have. So um, there is a, there's a, there's a big differentiation, but ours has a purpose for it, which is yeah. very good. Yeah. Okay. Give us a parting shot on what you, you, you think uh, people involved in this business should know about BASF, products and solutions? Yes, uh, my uh, closing remark is that uh, as BSF, uh, we are continuously doing research to ensure that we bring the best solution for the farmers. And uh, a case in point is right now farmers are struggling with the FCM. It's actually a big headache for many growers. Uh, BSF F FCM is the moth, yeah? yeah, the moth in for, full force, force condling moth, force condling moth. Yes, it's, yes. A, it's actually a big, big. Uh, if you talk to any grower in Kenya, uh, that is what is in uh, at the top of their mind in terms of the biggest challenge, uh, because it's a quarantine pest in. I mean, it's a quarantine pest in Europe. Therefore, zero tolerance in terms of uh, the presence on the on the on the flowers. On the flowers. Yeah. So we have a product uh, for FCM, which we shall be hopefully. Uh, by grace of God be launching uh, next year. We, we could have registration this year, 
uh, because we are taking on the waiver which has been provided by Pest Control, uh, Control Products Board uh, to present products which can work on FCM because right now the board is looking for all solutions possible. So yeah. they are giving a shorter registration period, actually like a waiver, uh, as long as we can provide data that this product works on FCM. And we have data that it works on FCM. Uh, the brand name is Simegra. It will be coming uh, maybe in quarter four this year. And uh, once we have it in the market, of course, this will be a game changer for many flower, uh, flower growers. Okay. And we can't wait for that time because even some have been asking about it. I don't oh. know how they discovered we have it. And therefore, it's something we are really waiting uh, with the uh, bated breath. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hey, yo! Flower farmer, Simegra is coming up your way. So watch out for it. What is the biggest job on earth? The biggest job on earth is farming. Ha! You heard it from the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that the biggest job on earth is farming. And that is no lie, man. Mm -hmm. You can have a look at this yeah. and how Beautiful. this controls the economy. Yeah. I have been your host. Papi your deck. This is the BASF Follower Farmer East Africa. Bado to Nafuata Farmer. We are following farmers and of course signing off saying follow a farmer, farmer, farmer. Bro, join Follow me. a farmer, farmer, farmer. Follow a farmer. BASF. We create chemistry.